And so we're going to start that off with Professor Tim Deming, the chair of the bioengineering department. And if you are a bioengineer, I just want to point out one real advantage that UCLA has. We have a medical school that's on our campus. Actually, it's across the street from, our, from the engineering school. And lots of colleges have medical schools, but sometimes they're in a different city because they have to be where the patients are. But LA has plenty of patients right here, so <laughs> that works out for us. OK, Professor Deming. Thanks, Rick. And, and also, good morning as well to everybody here. Um, thanks for coming out today to UCLA. So, so bioengineering is, really sits at the interface between engineering, biology, and medicine in most places. You'll also see a lot of departments also called biomedical engineering. And as Rick pointed out, um, one of the fantastic features we have here is a medical school that's really adjacent to our engineering school. And this really gives us a tre tremendous advantage in the research aspect of the work that we do. Bioengineering is a very broad area. Um, it can encompass things like medical devices, sensors, imaging technologies, um, regenerative medicine, where you'll try to regenerate new tissues, advanced drug therapeutics, targeted deliveries for specific diseases, really lots of different things. Because of this, it's a very broad area. Almost anything can almost be lumped into bioengineering, as long as it has a little biology and a little engineering mixed in. This makes it very challenging to set up a good undergraduate curriculum. And this is something we've really worked hard on here at UCLA, trying to develop a, a very good uh, curriculum that really enhance, um, emphasizes fundamentals in the education so that the graduates of our program can essentially go off and move into any of these areas. And one of the goals of our program is really to create the leaders in the next generation of bioengineers so people that will go off to advanced degrees, PhDs, MDs, we've had tremendous success with these so far. We hope to continue. Um, for those of you interested in bioengineering, I look forward to seeing you and meeting with you at our departmental meeting later on today. And of course, we'll tell you a whole lot more about our program. So with that, again, I'd like to welcome you to UCLA and hopefully I'll see you later on today. Okay, up next is our Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. Some of our professors have been busy recently studying some earthquakes that have happened. And so I'll let Professor J.S. Chen tell you about civil engineering. Good morning. It is our pleasure here to welcome you at UCLA. Um, I wonder if you know why it is called civil engineering. We can say we are more civilized. <laughs> Traditionally, engineering is subdivided into so-called uh, military engineering and non-military engineering. And the non-military engineering component is collectively called civil engineering. Although these days, we do actually work on some military-related problems. So we are less civilized these days. Um, so civil engineers deal with all different kinds of challenges. It ranges from natural disasters, as you know, you know, earthquake, tsunami now is uh, a major disaster in Japan, so you know how important this field is. In California, we also have to deal with wildfires when there's not enough rain. And then we have to deal with landslide when there's too much rain. Uh, you know, so as you can see, civil engineers deal with problems that are closely related to our daily life, have clean water systems, have sustainable living environments, and so on and so forth. Now here at UCLA, we civil engineering department, we have four major fields, environmental engineering, uh, structural engineering and mechanics, geotechnical engineering, hydrology, and water resources. And one of the very unique thing in our department is that we have a very strong interactions between students and faculty. So of course you take classes in, you know, and listen to lectures, uh, but you also work with classmates and the faculty on projects. Uh, you'll be visiting different places by field trips, and you can work with the faculty directly by uh, working on so-called independent studies, and, and there's plenty opportunities for students who are interested in research experiences 
can join faculty's research laboratories. Um, our student association and student chapters are also very active. Uh, this is a good opportunity for you to broaden your social network, to work on some hands-on uh, projects that are related to, for example, uh, student competitions, uh, canoe design and structural design uh, organized by uh, uh, you know, American Association for Civil Engineers and things like that, and I'm sure that you, you enjoyed it. So I think through this, uh, our UCLA Civil Engineering Program, you will learn uh, to design, to analyze, to construct, and to manage a very broad range of physical systems that goes all the way from traditional you know, bridges and buildings, uh, you know, transportation systems, tunnels, dams, and, and water and water waste systems. And now these days we also apply, for example, nanotechnologies to, for example, water filtering systems, um, materials for structures and things like that. So I hope that your visit today um, will be very informative. Our students and faculty will be meeting you later in the breakout sessions and we are here to help you. And I look forward to seeing you in the classroom a few months from now. Thank you very much. So I, I missed somebody. <laughs> So now we're going to listen to Professor Hal Mambuket tell us about the Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering Department. Here's Hal. Well, we went out of alphabetical order there a little bit. I hope uh, the dean isn't concerned about what I might say up here. <laughs> I won't disappoint him. Um, well, first of all, on behalf of the, uh, the department, I want to congratulate um, the, the prospective freshmen in the audience. It's really quite a feat uh, to get admitted to the school these days, as, uh, as you've heard. Uh, and a special pat on the back uh, goes to those who've chosen chemical engineering as their major, because uh, I don't think there's ever been a better time, actually, to be a chemical engineer. Uh, practicing chemical engineers creatively apply scientific principles to the physical and chemical transformation of matter whether it be for the production of microelectronic chips, cosmetics, food, plastics, protein therapeutics, paper, antibiotics, energy, or automobile tires. And parents, a creative chemical engineer even invented those disposable diapers your sons and daughters wore at a time you may recall fondly, but they may prefer not to think about. In fact, chemical and biomolecular engineers play key roles in the production of nearly every tangible man-made product and take special responsibility to conceive and design sustainable, environmentally friendly processes and products. The process orientation of chemical engineers makes them particularly well suited for the business world and chemical engineers have recently served as CEOs for companies as disparate as Intel, Exxon, General Electric, DuPont, and Coca-Cola. Our department offers opportunities to learn from and to conduct research alongside faculty who are expanding our knowledge and creating new technology in areas such as synthetic biology, advanced water treatment systems, semiconductor materials processing, nanotechnology, and biofuels. Now, it, sure, it must seem to you, a lot of you, that I've just reached across the table and grabbed the whole pie. And I'm sure my colleagues over here think I'm full of a lot of hype. But they'll excuse me because they know I'm just very enthusiastic about chemical and biomolecular engineering. But I really don't think I've overstepped here. I've just not mentioned one very important thing, and that is that nearly everything chemical engineers do, they do in collaboration with clever, well-educated scientists and engineers from other disciplines. So it's really a collaborative enterprise. And I think one of the things that's really special about our school is the collaboration among disciplines, extensive collaboration, both in teaching and in research. Nevertheless, I really look forward to talking about those who are interested in chemical engineering later this morning and um, fully supporting my comment that there really has never been a better time to be a chemical and biomolecular engineer. Thank you.